Aiden and uh, Simon's going along very nicely. Oh, very, very nicely. Oh boy, that's gone a long way. And it makes it four for 2.57. This is uh, an astonishing display. It's like gladiators just toying with their opponent over the top. Oh, Hayden's hit one too. That's beautifully played. Way down the ground. That's another one. He does it totally differently, doesn't he? He just eases it over the boundary for six and beautifully caught by a Victorian in the outfield. These blokes have been caught about four times each. Simons and Hayden but not on the playing arena. <laughs> well, he did it off such intent Dorka. He's only a part-time medium pacer, but Ashish Naira was around about 135 k's, and he's gone back over his head. They looked a different side when they batted, particularly with the running between the wickets. This is flit off. And that is Hayden. What a beauty. Wow. <laughs> That's about the longest boundary on the ground. Matthew Hayden certainly likes it. Big smile on the face. That one is right out of the middle. <laughs> Niggling best. Oh, how good is that? goes a long, long way. It goes for six. Such is the power of this man. He's a great entertainer. Wide coming around the wicket. He's like taking candy from a child. He just went straight through the line and the side of the line. Must be a good grab in the crowd as well. Once again, Hayden and these Australian batsmen making a mockery of the size of the MCG. Did I say he was struggling on the front foot? Correction. He moves to 47. Beautifully struck. We've seen Gilchrist do that. It's not easy. It's, it's a fair hit here at the MCG. Remember Ken Barrington hitting Tom Vivas twice for six over long on. Right-handed batsman. That's a big hit. And it's well caught by the man in blue. Oh, cracks him over long on. That's the same result. Well, he's hitting the ball very cleanly. Matthew Hayden. Well, it's almost a carbon copy of the six that he hit off Craig White that we highlighted not so long ago. Not a bad delivery at all. Just outside off stump and Hayden dismissively smashing it over long on for six. It's exactly the same replay of the shot that he hit in the first session. And psychologically, it's such a damaging shot for England. The captain there has set an offside field. His bowler has bowled to the offside field and the ball's disappeared over long on for six. Therefore, allocation of 50 overs. Mike Proctor, as I said earlier, is quite tough and determined to be quite tough on this because he thinks that's uh, one of the worst parts. It's another beauty. It's another terrific shot. Six runs. Well, straight into a glass of the media centre this time. Very strong hit indeed. I expected it to go through the windows, but luckily it didn't break, I don't think, and it's bounced back out again. Well, again, he's just waited on that, didn't he? Just waited to meet it properly and then just forearm jolts it. And the glass has saved it. But when you hit these balls too that far, it doesn't do your over rate too much good either, Mike. But uh, luckily that one's come back on the ground. Look at the press boys, I think, ducking for cover. Short delivery. And could well be called. No. He's allowed that. It's, uh, might have been a little bit higher than he wanted to bowl it, but he's got away with it. Well, a dot ball, he'd be relieved, relieved with that. And the trouble is he can't bowl too many of them. <laughs> Here's another look at that uh, wonderful six, this time off Wacker Yunus. Just a lovely flow of the bat. Didn't move too much. Just sitting back and admiring it as it sailed towards the media centre and bounced back off that glass.
Well, he's happy with the single. The single is an absolute bonus if you're bowling to Hayden at the moment. The way he's going. Their biggest problem is stemming the runs at the moment. Shire back to from the city end. Andy Hayden has gone big. That is a huge hit. Wow, what a beauty. Right on top of the roof. Well, he's just put it back in the city as well. That is a big six. A very casual hit there from Matty Hayden. Just swung through the line. He's got power to burn this man. The warm-up delivery, I think, from Sharp, And it's disappeared. Unbelievable time. Right out of the middle. Just the big stride in and just launched. That went a long, long way. I reckon he might have enjoyed that, Jeff. Well, he's put it on top of that uh, media centre up there, right on the uh, wrought iron roof. And that would have disappeared out the back. Well, Sharp, no fast bowler likes that, and especially arguably the quickest one around at the moment. Let's see what his response is.